Welcome back, brothers and sisters. I am Braden. This is Langley Outdoors Academy, the place where we not only talk about what's going on in the gun world, but also how we're going to fix it together. And the content that we're going to talk about today is an observation about some things that Kamala Harris has said around her new gun violence office of prevention at the White House, but also a very stark warning to all of us on the 2A side. This is one I need you guys to watch the entire video, send it out, and let me know some feedback if I landed this plane or not, because I really wanted to articulate this message effectively and well. So with that, everything will be linked in the description box below, and make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and turn the notification bell on. All right, my brothers and sisters, this one has a little bit of con comedy, and like I said in the intro, a significant warning. Do not underestimate your opponents. The opponents of freedom are not stupid, even though some of their mouthpieces tend to come across that way. Now, here, let's get to the content, because like I said, I'll try to do this quickly. So, conservatives congratulate VP Harris for new role as gun czar after a bang-up job with the border. Now, of course, they're mocking the fact that she's pretty bad at that piece, so she's probably going to be pretty bad at this. That's a fair assumption. However... Don't ever underestimate your opponents, particularly when they're around our freedoms of the Second Amendment of which we hold so dear. Because she's inventing things here subtly, and she has done multiple times, and I'm about to show you two clips where she's done it twice now. This is something that's important to be on your guard for. Now, let's get it, because again, this is the whole point. So after Vice President Kamala Harris announced on social media Friday that she will oversee the White House's first Office of Gun Violence Prevention, conservatives warned her track record is a grim sign for success, which it is. But let's hear from her on the first clip, break it down, and we'll go to the second, because she's inventing rights. This is important. Hey everybody, so I have some big news to share. We are announcing the creation of the first ever White House Office of Gun Violence Prevention. And we are doing this work in large part because of the activism, the organizing, the marching, the voting of all of you leaders, be it students, parents, teachers, community leaders who understand that living free from gun violence should be a right. So we're gonna work on this together. We're gonna to continue to fight for reasonable gun safety laws and for the ability of all people to live their best lives free from fear, free from violence. Thank you for all that you have done and continue to do. All right, so there's some very specific language that I'm about to show you in another clip from several months ago. And that's the, what ties this whole thing together. It's very easy to mock Kamala Harris because she's not a good order at all. She's not a good executor of vision. She's not a good executor of anything, really, except infringing with uh, well-known rhetoric and talking points. However, the people behind her, the ones who are writing the speeches, the ones who are driving the train, she's just the mouthpiece. They are consistent on message because they're just inventing right and they have the right to be safe and free. I'm going to play one more clip for you back at Mom's Man Action Conference about a month or two ago. You see if you hear the exact same thing that I heard when... Comp because to your point about I do believe that the right to be safe should be thought of as a civil right. And, 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 and a human right, I heard somebody in the audience say, and, and, it, and it is about freedom, right? In, and including... And this is a very, maybe, simple point, but I think very important. The freedom to just be. To just be. To be safe. The freedom to just be, to just be safe. Do you understand that while, yes, she's a terrible orator, there are continuity points there? From two months ago, when she's talking offhand, to now when she's talking in a scripted Twitter video all about announcing the Gun Violence Prevention Office, there are consistent lines being drawn. People behind the scenes who want this office are the ones driving this. Yes, it is one thing to mock her because she's terribly ineffective. It's another thing to completely discount her and ignore the threat because she's so unassumingly incompetent. Let's just be nice about it understand the reason that we are having so many successes over the past two and a half to three years on the gun rights side our side is because they underestimated us do not make the exact same mistake as they're making these executive bureaucratic organizations 
because the head of it is ineffective. Do not make the same mistake they made. Check this out. This is what I'm seeing across the board, and this is why I made this whole video. This is great news. By the time she is through, owning an assault rifle is going to be mandatory. Okay. Phew, it's just Kamala in charge. If she handles it of anything like the border, gun owners should have nothing to worry about, discounting the threat. I'm sure it'll be as effective as your role as borders are. Why has no reporter asked, no reporter asked the White House whether their very busy VP, who is also the border czar, had time to handle gun uh, violence while she's able to fix migration crisis? And the last one, this is a poignant one because it comes from one of the parents of one of the children in Parkland. Quote, White House of Fit Office of Gun Violence Prevention to be overseen by Vice President Kamala Harris. Ryan Petty, the father of a Parkland school shooting victim, wrote, she's done a bang-up job with the border, hasn't she? And that is the whole point of this entire video. While it is easy to take a jab at someone who is incompetent at the head and who is the mouthpiece, understand that in her speeches, she is lining up a continuity of inventing new rights, new civil rights, new human rights, to be safe from gun violence sp specifically, of which she will then use to advocate, or they, uh, they behind her, will use to then advocate that exact same office to push red flag laws at a state level and federal level, universal background checks, and implement all the parts of the Senate Bipartisan Safer Communities Act. This is an actual threat, and like I said earlier in the video, do not make the same mistake that they made with us of underestimating your opponent. We are taking them to task in court system right now, and we are making significant gains because they underestimated us. They didn't see all the lawsuits. They didn't see all the organizations. They didn't see the activism. They didn't see any of it. Now they see it and they're adjusting. Don't make the exact same mistake and go to sleep on this and say, oh, well, VP Harris is in charge of it, so there's no threat. It's the people behind her that are the important piece to understand. While Kamala Harris is gone one day, this office will still be there unless it is destroyed by a Republican because Democrats aren't going to do it. And that's the entire point of this video. Let me know if I land on this plane and I will see you on the next one. I'm Braden. See you later.